Hey, this is Tracy Lewis with Stuff and Things. I am here for a quick video to talk about the new postage rates. They went up in July, just last week, I think. And I had to go to the post office. I went online, it was very confusing, not a lot of information, so I have, I have narrowed it down. And if you missed the January increase in rates, they changed the non-machinable rate so that you could no longer pay for it with just a forever stamp and a second or a one ounce additional stamp, which is the bunny stamp. So I actually am opening up my folder that is very um, old. It has all of my postage, it has notes, and I've got my notes from the post office and thought I would go ahead and make updates here with you so that you guys could hear what the rates have done. They have definitely made non-machinable because that is a human required stamp cancellation they have upped it a lot so for those of you who like the thick bumpy lumpy card cards you're going to be disappointed because they are really expensive so basically right now as of july the new rate for um, a non-machinable stamp if you just want to buy the stamp by itself it was 84 cents so before July 2022 it was 88 cents which was a 58 stamp so this was the rate for just the non non machinable increase in price that you had to put on say a regular if you like to collect stamps like I do Here's my celebrate and happy birthday. I have Star Wars stamps. I have all different things. I, I have Christmas stamps and I like to collect them to give them to people. I even have um, horses, mules, uh, heritage breeds. I bought the breast cancer. My mom just had breast cancer two years ago now and had to fight that battle. And then over here I've got otters. I have thank you. These are all forever. Uh, um, first class one ounce and then back here I do have uh, some global people I mail to and that's what those round ones are so these have upped to 60 cents so like uh, this one I didn't have it written on here but these are all 60 cent stamps this I had 58 it's now 60 cent stamps so I have quite a few of those now the trick is I like to put on my cards something that is fitting for the person I'm giving it to. So right now, uh, after the rate went up, which was um, the July 22, it really was like the second week in July, they upped it by 10 cents. So that today is how much a non-machinable lumpy bumpy still fits in the jig, the quarter inch jig, and it weighs less, um, it can weigh up to exactly one ounce, but not a smidge even over one ounce. So it used to be that you could take, with the 88 cents, I was able to add a bunny, which is an additional ounce. The additional ounce add, here, I'll write it on here, used to be, I think 22 cents. And now the additional ounce is 24 cents. So now I start looking through, and then this bag here has my higher priced stamps. When I mail out catalogs to customers, which I don't often do uh, because Stampin' Up! actually mails them for me, but I do have some oddball, I have penny stamps, I have one last, um, this is for a priority mail. I think I paid $7.50 or so, and now I think um, Priority Mail is eight something. Uh, then I have some dollars, and I have, oh, one last thank you that I can move. This is a forever first class, so it's now a 60, and it can move over into my other pile. So that's what all these are. Miscellaneous price stamps. There's the actual two ounce. This says 
two ounces. And the two ounce stamp is no longer 78 cents. So you needed to, in January, when it was 78 cents, you needed to add a 10 cent stamp, which the 10 cent stamp is the pears, red pears. And even no red pears existed. But now the two ounce stamp is 84 cents. So you have two routes that you can get to the non-machinable that isn't the traditional route of just buying the non-machinable. The non-machinable has, it used to have two different butterflies. I really like the purple one. The purple one is no longer offered. I was just online looking at the shopping uh, stamps area and I think you can only get the yellow butterfly. But I don't like to send men butterflies and we have a lot of men in my family. I don't know if you know this, but I'm always forever working on masculine cards. So the new rate of these non-machinable, which I believe you can only get the yellow butterfly, as I said, is 99 cents. So I have lots of these and, you know, I always try to keep ahead of the curve and have lots of extras. Uh, but boy, 99 cents is a pretty big step up. So I'm going to set these aside, set the him here because now you have to figure out if you're like me and you have a variety of stamps how do you get to the 99 cents with the 60 cent path and then how do you get to the 99 cents with the 84 cent two ounce if you have any of those left over from before January when this two ounce stamp was enough to pay for the non-machinable so now it takes I'm gonna write this on here uh, if you have a 60 cent stamp um, and you want to use singles, it's the bunny, which is 24. So it's the bunny. And then it's a 10 cent pair. And then you got to break out the grapes. Here's the grapes. They are, I believe the only, we might have two five cent stamps that you can choose from now. Uh, oh, and you know, it, this one ended up, I didn't need to use it. Let's see if I can salvage it. Oh, here's another secret. So the way they, the glue on these, you can, if you accidentally put a wrong postage on an envelope, just peel very slow and you can salvage it. This one actually was, in these two both, I had miscalculated at some point. And so when you take them off, then you put them back on their sheet, they should stick, but then watch them because they're never gonna be the same again with sticky. So on the 60 cent forever stamp, you're gonna do a bunny, a pear, now you have to do grapes. Because you need 99 cents. So that's one combination. If you really, really like me, want to put a specific themed forever stamp. Uh, here's the bunny. I have them on one side. I already changed the amount. And then I have my singles that I know work together with the bunny to get the total. Now we have a new, trying to figure out if you have two ounce stamps. I also like the look of the stamps when you give them to people and they have postage, actual stamp postage on them. So in order to get the 99 cents, it's not so, so bad. It's like it used to be. You don't need the bunny, but you need the bear, the pear and the grapes. And that is your easiest way to get to your 99 cents. Both ways to get to 99 cents. Um, I have bought from somebody, I think it was Libby, I bought a roll of postcard stamps if you have those floating around, just so you know, postcard stamps, 
if you don't like to over overpay for postage those went up from 40 cents to 44 cents I think in January they went from 36 to 40 and now they've gone up 40 to 44 so uh, that's what I've got for you guys today and I thought I would do this when I was working this out for myself and share that with you I know it sucks it feels like uh, the postal system is not being very friendly for us card makers by making it is literally now for an A2 size card that fits that criteria of less than a quarter inch thick and one ounce no higher one ounce or less but it's lumpy and bumpy because you have pearls or rhinestones on it it indeed costs a dollar crazy I know any questions comments or concern you can leave them on this video I probably won't have an article on this uh, I'll just have the video up. I just had just come from the post office and wanted to get this all down and thought I would share it. Um, be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.